Jinder Mahal versus uh, Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship, honestly, in my mind, is one of the biggest head scratchers there are in professional wrestling. I completely understand uh, Jinder Mahal being on the chase for the WWE Championship, but in my mind, the perfect night to crown Shinsuke as the WWE Champion would have been back at WWE SummerSlam, um, where he was the number one contender and was going up against Jinder. Um, I know that uh, you know there's a lot of talk that we've been talking about for a while now about Jinder Mahal leading this craze. Um, of WWE trying to get involved with India uh, and, and however many there are you know Indian wrestling fans trying to convert them to be watching WWE um, to help them out with um, TV numbers as well as you know, you know future shows and advertising uh, as well as merchandise being brought into that country. Um, as we speak right now, Triple H is actually on a trip in, into India. Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing there, if he's trying to get, you know, preparations done for an upcoming tour um, or trying to, you know, sign uh, the, the next uh, television rights deal over there. Um, but uh, that that is where Triple H is. He actually missed the NXT tapings, um, which is the first NXT tapings that he's missed since being a part of NXT. Um, to me, you know, gender versus Sinsuke happening for a third time without having a championship change, to me is just mind bending. I, I completely understand, you know, when wrestlers like Stone Cold Steve Austin or The Rock, um, even John Cena being on the chase for the WWE Championship increases viewerships because people want to root for their favorite in order to see them win it. Uh, to me, honestly, SummerSlam should have been the crowning uh, moment uh, for Nakamura to crown him as one of the you know, future um, definite main eventers of WWE. Um, you know, him coming over uh, from New Japan Pro Wrestling, him being involved in NXT, becoming their champion, and then, you know, being moved over to the main roster. He got picked to come to SmackDown for a reason. I believe it was to lead this brand, and people say that he is sort of the guy that John Cena is handing the reins over to. Um, Nakamura should have already been the champion and already started a monumental run. Instead, uh, people are pointing the finger at Jinder Mahal uh, as sort of, you know, chasing fans away from SmackDown, which in a lot of people's mind was the true wrestling show. But much like with Monday Night Raw and me, that with Brock Lesnar not around and Brock Lesnar being the champion, it makes me lose interest in the show because I don't know what I'm rooting for or what I'm waiting for. People normally win matches in order to challenge for the championship, but when the champion's not around, it seems like guys are just going out there and fighting to fight, and that just doesn't really interest me. It's sort of one of the things that draws me off from uh, UFC a little bit. Um, right now, SmackDown's you know, house show numbers as well as television ratings and uh, television ticket sales are down. Most people point to Jinder Mahal being the champion. I'm not going to say this guy is the worst champion of all time. People have had debates whether if that's Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Diesel. Um, but to me, honestly, it's just it's just time for a change. I think people saw through this. Um, I think people saw that Jinder Mahal was a guy that, before the brand split, was a member of a three-man band um, that did not work, and he was released. Um, people had said that he sort of worked small independent shows, but I can honestly tell you that from the moment Jinder Mahal was released from WWE and the moment that he was re-signed, I never heard Jinder Mahal's name mentioned one time in any new news articles talking about great independent matches, um, people drawing houses to, to shows. It was like he dropped off the face of the earth. I, I would have thought that he was a lot like, um, you know, someone that, that left wrestling to try to get into the world of acting. Jinder has to lose the belt. Nakamura needs to win it at this show, at Hell in the Cell, uh, and take that spot of being the main guy. Immediately, in this feud, immediately get Nakamura into another feud, even if it's against a guy like Randy Orton, um, and, and have this guy winning real matches to brand him as the future of WWE.